Hi everybody, I'm Tom Elliott with John Deere and today we'll show you how to plant a food plot that'll attract wildlife on your property using a Frontier Conservation Seeder. For this project, we're matching our Frontier CS1384 Conservation Seeder with a John Deere 5115M utility tractor. It packs 115 engine horsepower and includes the standard 16 forward, 16 reverse, power reverser transmission. We've also added an H260 loader with a lift capacity of over 3,500 pounds as ballast to make sure our tractor package is properly balanced. And we've included a John Deere quick hitch that makes hooking and unhooking three-point implements like this conservation seeder as easy as possible. Before we get started, let's go see where we want our deer to visit and also where we'll plant our food plot. Tucked back in a wooded area, this plot is about a third of an acre or so. With its front and rear spike rollers, we could use this conservation seeder as a no-till planter here. But the landowner chose to rotary cut the vegetation very short first, then ran a disc over it to churn and soften the seed bed. Okay, time to get started. First, Caitlin will hook up the conservation seeder using the quick hitch we added to our tractor's category two hitch. She'll just focus on the top hook and everything else falls into place. Then she'll close the locking levers, attach the power cable for the transport lights, and she's ready to go. Next, we're ready to seed. The Frontier Conservation Seeder allows you to choose from four possible seed box configurations for large seed, small seed, native grass, and fertilizer options. A calibration chart is included for calculating the proper seed dispersal rate based on the type of grass seed being used. The seed rate is adjusted by using the knob on the right side of the seeder. It controls the fluted roll in the seed box. For this food plot, we'll be seeding a combination of alfalfa, chicory, and ladino clover. We call it the white tail buffet. The seed drops through adjustable seed cups and seed tubes onto the ground. Front and rear spike rollers help prepare the seed bed and provide the power on this ground-driven machine. After the seeds fall to the seed bed, adjustable spring tines gently rake soil over them. Finally, the rear cultivator firms and levels the seed bed, creating good seed to soil contact. We start by seeding the edges and headlands so Caitlin will have room to turn the tractor around and keep track of where she's seeded. Then she'll continue back and forth throughout the food plot area, occasionally checking her seed boxes to make sure her dispersal rate calculations were correct. All in all, it should take her less than an hour to seed this entire food plot. When she's done, we'll let nature take its course, and hopefully we'll have a great stand of feed to attract deer in the fall. Frontier has over 600 implements that are available only from your John Deere dealer, the place to go for advice and equipment. So remember, for implements that help turn your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be, think Frontier and your John Deere dealer.